Hello, I'm James and this is Maths Kitchen and in today's video I'm going to be looking at solving simultaneous equations graphically. So we're going to plot some equations on a graph and then solve them that way. Now I go through quite a few questions. I've put those on screen there for you so you can just jump to whichever bit you need. I've put links to those in the description below as well. I would recommend watching at least the first question because that gives you the kind of the basis for solving all the other ones. But then if you need to, jump to whichever bit you need or watch the whole thing through. It's always useful to practice things in maths, to get stuck in and do it yourself. And you can do that at my website, mathskitchen.com, where you can find these questions as well as lots of others. Right, let's have a look at the first question. The diagram shows part of the graphs of y equals 2x and y equals 0.8x add 2. And you can see we've got two straight lines there. And then we're being asked to use a graphical approach to estimate the solution to the pair of simultaneous equations y equals 2x and y equals 0.8x add 2. In other words, the two lines that we've got there. So to solve this, all we need to do is find the point where those two lines intersect, where they cross over. And we're looking for the x coordinate at that point and the y coordinate. And if you're doing that on pen and paper, you could just use a ruler to read those off. If you're using the website, you can just click on there and you can read off, follow the orange line down and across to read off where you are on the x and the y axis. You want a kind of a real life analogy for this if you imagine this graph showing you the cost of a taxi journey for every kilometer so let's imagine that the kilometers are on the x-axis going across and the price is going up the cost of the journey is going up on the y-axis so here for example this journey is one kilometer and it's going to cost us two pounds this point here for this taxi is going to go What's that? 2.4 kilometers, and it's going to cost us four pounds. But there is this one sweet spot here, this one point where both of those taxis are going to go the exact same distance and they're going to cost the exact same amount. And that's really what we're looking for. We would say that is the solution to this simultaneous equation, okay, where both of those things are equal to each other. And so for x, that looks like 1.65 to me, and for y, it looks like about 3.3. Now, if you're doing this using the site or if you're doing this in the exam, they give you a bit of leeway because it is hard to get these really, really accurate. So typically for this one, they would accept, for example, anywhere between 1.6 and 1.7 for that first answer. And perhaps for that second one, anywhere between 3.25 and 3.35, something like that. It would depend on the question, but, but typically that's a kind of amount of leeway that they give you in the exam. By drawing suitable lines on the axes above, use a graphical approach to estimate the solution to the pair of simultaneous equations. So the equation that we've been given are y equals 5x minus 3 and y equals 2x add 1. So we're going to draw both of those lines and then we're going to look for the point where they intersect, where they cross over with each other. Lots of different ways you can draw these lines. I think the way I'm going to show you today, I'm going to use my knowledge of y equals mx plus c. So that first one, y equals 5x minus 3, I know that that's going to be passing through the y-axis at minus 3 because of the minus 3 on the end. And the 5x tells me that it's got a gradient of 5. So that tells me that for every one unit that I go across on the x-axis, I'm going to go up 5 on the y-axis. So if I just plot a point there, and if you're doing this on pen and paper, you could then just connect those two points up using ruler and your pencil. Um, if you're using the site, all you have to do is click that point and it will draw the line in for you. If you've made a little mistake, it's not a problem. You just grab that point and move it about like I'm doing there. So that's the first line. The second line, y equals 2x plus 1, I'll do the same thing. I know it's going to intercept the y-axis at 1. And we've got a gradient of 2. So I'm going to go across 1 on my x-axis and up 2 on the y-axis to there. And I just plot that point there. Now we've got our two lines. All we've got to do is to find where they intersect. And if I just click again on the graph, I can then use those orange lines to read off where I am on the x-axis and where I am on the y-axis. And that looks to me to be about 1.36 on the x-axis and 3.62 on the y-axis. Of course, it's difficult to read these numbers off, particularly if you've used a pen and paper. And so if you're doing this in an exam or indeed on the website, then we would accept answers. And in an exam, they would accept answers between, you know, typically something like 1.3 and 1.4, for example, for that first one. The diagram shows parts of the graph of y equals x squared minus 4x add 3 
and y equals 2x minus 5. Use a graphical approach to find the solutions to the simultaneous equations, and then it's those same two equations that we were given at the start. And then it says, note that these have integer solutions, so we're looking for some whole numbers here. All we've got to do is to look for the two points where the lines intersect. You can see there's one point there. You can click on the graph if you find it useful to read off on the x and y axis. So that first point here, the x coordinate is 4 and the y coordinate is 3. And it's important that they go together as a pair of coordinates. So we've got 4 and 3. And then the second point, they're crossing over here. So that second pair of coordinates is going to be 2 and minus 1. Diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 6x at 8. And then by drawing a suitable line, use the graph to find the solutions to the simultaneous equations y equals x squared minus 6 at 8, which we've been given already, and then y equals x minus 2. So all I have to do is to draw on the line of y equals x minus 2. Um, lots of ways you can do this. I'm just going to use y equals mx plus c, which will tell me that it's going to intersect the y-axis at minus 2, and it's got a gradient of 1. So for every one unit I go across, I'm going to go up 1. So if I just plot another point there, and then I can just join those up with a straight line. Obviously, if you're using pen and paper, you can do the exact same technique. If you're using the website, it's going to automatically draw in that line for you. Then I can just click on my graph to read off what those x and y values are. And it says that note that these have integer solutions, so we're looking for whole numbers. So that first point is going to be 5 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. We put those together as a pair of coordinates, so that's going to be 5 and 3. And then the second point over here, we're at 2 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. So again, it's important we keep those together as a pair of coordinates, so 2 and 0. So there you go, I hope you found that useful. If you did, it would be hugely appreciated if you did all that good YouTube stuff. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and of course, keep practicing, and you can do that over at mathskitchen.com. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.